deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain. And it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him. And his righteousness upon children's children to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, are you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. For no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of a brightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In peace, for heavenly peace, the salvation of our souls, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world the stability of God's holy churches, and the oneness of all. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop, we ask most the honorable priest to the deacons in the service of Christ, for all the clergy and all the people. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop, we ask most the honorable for our president, for those in public service, for the armed forces and all the American nations, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, this parish, every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have Help mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, along with all the saints, let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you, For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath a 
appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. Theos kyrios kepethon enimin, evlogimenos o erchomenos en onomati kyriu. Pandat ethni kikolsan me ket onomati kyriu iminamin optus. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Deos kyrios kepephanenimin, evlogimenos o erchomenos en onomati kyriu. When the stone was sealed by the Jews, and the soldiers were guarding thine immaculate body, thou didst arise on the third day, O Savior, granting life unto the world, for which cause the powers of heaven cried out to you, O life-giver. Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to thy kingdom. Glory to thy dispensation, O only friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the, the image was preserved with exactness, O Mother. For taking up thy cross, you did follow Christ, and by thy deeds you did teach us to overlook the flesh. For it passes away, but to attend to the soul, since it is immortal. Wherefore, O righteous Pelagia, your spirit rejoices with the angels, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Born of a virgin, O oh good one, who also endured crucifixion for our sake, who by death took the spoils of death as plunder and showed resurrection being God. O oh, despise not the ones that you formed with your own hand. Demonstrate your love for man, O Lord of mercy, and accept your mother, the Theotokos, who intercedes on our behalf. O Savior, and save us, a despairing people. Again and again in peace. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin most Mary, holy, along with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. The soldiers keeping watch at your tomb, O my Savior, became as dead for fear of the radiant angel. And he proclaimed that you arose to the women who came at dawn. 
We extol you, Lord, for you abolished corruption. And we worship you, our only God, who was buried and rose from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You willingly were nailed to the cross, loving Master. As mortal, you were laid in a tomb, O life giver. By your own death did you destroy this dominion, O mighty one. For the centuries of Hades in fear of you shuddered. With yourself you raised those who were dead from the ages. For you alone love mankind. When Gabriel, both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. When Gabriel had uttered, rejoice to you, O virgin. And with the voice was the Lord of all becoming incarnate. In you whom the holy ark of old prefigured as righteous David said, you carried your creator and proved to be more spacious than the heavens. Glory to him who dwelt inside of you. Glory to him who came forth from you. Glory be to him who through your childbirth has set us free. The women went early in the morning to the graveside, and when they beheld the appearance of an angel, they trembled. The sepulchre radiated light, the wonder filled them with astonishment. And they went away proclaiming the resurrection unto the disciples. Christ has despoiled Hades as the one mighty and only powerful, and he raised up all who were corrupted and dispelled the fear of condemnation by the power of the cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When you, the life of the universe, were nailed unto the cross, and you were reckoned among the dead, O Lord, the Immortal One, O Savior, on the third day you arose and resurrected Adam from decay. For this reason were the powers of heaven crying out to you, O life-giver. Glory to your sufferings, O Christ. Glory to your resurrection. Glory to your condescension, only one who loves you, mankind. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, whose august body hosted the Master, we pray you raise us up, for we are sunk in the darkness of dreadful despondency, of transgressions and sufferings. Lady, you indeed are the salvation of sinners. You give help to us, you are our mighty protection, and you save us, your servants. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the host of the angels saw how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. 
You, O oh Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the myrrh-bearing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the murmuring women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he has risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father and his Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen giving birth to the giver of life, O virgin. You delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have Remember, mercy. most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, along with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. For blessed is your name and glorified your kingdom, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. The robber's repentance steals paradise. The myrrh bearer's mourning reveals the joy. For you had risen, O Christ our God, and granted to the world a great mercy. And granted to the world a great mercy. Your 
In mine affliction hearken unto my sorrows, O Lord, I cry unto thee. For those in the desert divine longing becometh unending, in that they are outside the vain world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit, honor and glory is due, even as it is unto the Father, and so also to the Son. Wherefore, let us sing unto the threefold monarchy. Thou hast raised me to the summits of thy laws. Make me radiant with the virtues, O God, that I may hymn you. Taking me by the right hand, O word, keep me, preserve me, lest the fire of sin scorch me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, all creation is renewed, returning again to the primordial state. For he is equal in power to the Father and the Word. Because of them that said unto me, Let us go into the courts of the Lord. My spirit was glad, and my heart also rejoiced. In the house of David there is great fear, for there when the thrones are set forth, all the tongues and tribes of the earth shall be judged. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit must honor, worship, glory, and dominion be offered, as is meet both to the Father and the Son. For the Trinity is a unity in nature, but not in persons. Now I will arise, says the Lord. I will establish them in salvation. I will be manifest therein. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will be manifest therein. The words of the Lord are pure words, silver that is fired, tried in the earth, brought to sevenfold purity. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will be manifest Again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by your grace. Remember your most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, along with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. You rose from the tomb in glory as God, and you raised the world along with you. The human race extolled you as God, as death was obliterated, O Master. Now Adam dances and Eve rejoices, freed from the bonds, and cries out, O Christ, you have granted resurrection to all. You have granted resurrection to all. Let us extol as omnipotent God, the one who rose on the third day. For he smashed the gates of Hades, and he raised from their graves the dead from all time. As he wished, he was seen by the myrrh-bearing women, to whom first he exclaimed, Rejoice! thus saying, declaring to his apostles the joy as the only giver of life. Then the women in good faith bring good news of the proof of the victory to the disciples. But Hades groans and death laments. The world exults and everyone celebrates, O Christ, for you have granted resurrection to all. 
For you have granted resurrection to all. On the 8th of this month, we commemorate our righteous mother Pelagia of Antioch, the former courtesan, washed of thy shame and escaping the billowing tempest. O Pelagia, thou camest to the port of heaven. On the 8th, Pelagia escaped the sea of life. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyr Pelagia, the virgin of Antioch. With a fall from a great height, depths of shame thou escapest, deftly giving the foe a fall, O Pelagia. On this day, we commemorate Saint Theus of Egypt, the former harlot. O Theus, cleansed of prodigality's foulness, thou drawest nigh to God while shining brightly. On this day, the holy new righteous martyr Ignatius of Athos was perfected in martyrdom by hanging in Constantinople in the year 1814. O Ignatius, since thou did righteously struggle, thou was vouchsafed in contest a martyr's honor. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Dositheos of Pskov. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Trifo of Vyatka, who reposed in the year 1612. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I open my mouth and pray the Spirit fill it like David said, to pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I will celebrate her feast with joy and gladness and sing to her merrily, lauding her miracles. Establish your servants who extol you, O Mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual choir for you, the living and abundant found, and graciously in your divine glory, give glorious crowns to them. When the prophet Habakkuk heard the divine and incomprehensible counsel of your incarnation from the Virgin, O Most High, considering he cried aloud, Glory to your power, O Lord my God. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, you who were perpetually virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb, and gave birth to the eternal Son, who awards salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. O oh, godly minded believers, come and celebrate this sacred and venerable feast and dust extol the Theotokos and clap our hands and glorify our God who is truly born of her. Godly minded three did not adore created things in the Creator's stead. Rather disdaining the threat of fire, they trampled it and joyfully they sang, O supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God of our fathers, you are blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Guiltless were those servants in the furnace. The son of the Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, having been incarnate now, is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing. O oh, all you works of the Lord to all Ages. Sing praises to the Lord and exalt him beyond measure. Uh, to for you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything 
that breathes, praise the Lord. Like the candle. Pasap no ienes aton don kirion. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be upon you all. And with your spirit. The reading is according to the Gospel of St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to At you. At that time, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying and the napkin which had been on his head, not lying with the, with the linen cloth, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and he believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back, to their home. Stay. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify, for you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words, and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. 
O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. At the intercession of the apostles, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having arisen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, power of the precious life-giving cross, protect the humble by the powers of heaven, supplication, humble, glorious prophet and foreigner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious praise with the apostles, our Father among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira, Spirit and Bishop of Trinitundos, Nicarius Pentepoleos, the Wonder Workers, the Holy, Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Merbear, Theodore of Tyre, Theodore the Commander, Minas the Wonder Worker, Harambos and Eleftherios, the Holy Priest Martyrs, the Holy, Glorious, Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious, Great Martyr, all lauded Epimia, equal to the Apostles, the Holy Glorious Martyrs, Thecla, Barba, Anastasia, Catherine, Kyria, Kipotri, Marina, Parasquin, Irene, of our venerable God-bearing fathers, of uh, the patron saint of our church, Joseph the Hesychast, of the patron saint of our chapel, St. John Maximovich, of the holy righteous ancestors of the Lord, Iwakimanana, of our devout mother, Pelagia, the repentant sinner, of St. Pelagia, the virgin martyr, of St. Thysia, the prostitute, of the new martyr Ignatius of Athos, of St. Dositheos of Sov, of St. Trifono, and of all the saints that we remember this day, have mercy, and, and all the saints we beseech, only most merciful Lord, bless us to us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, <clears throat> Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Through the mercy, compassion, love for mankind, your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos, the Mother of Light, then Theotokos, Kimitere to Photos, and Imdi Simondes. Megalino men. 
My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos you do we magnify. O dear Pevleps and Epitin the Pino sing his lulis of two, I do God a potunin, Macarius me parcelien. King Dimi o Teron ton Kerubin, Ken Doxo Teran as in Gritos ton Serafin. Tina di Aptoros, de un logon te cusan, tina un tos de otro con se megalinomen. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, you do we magnify. A piece of in Vrachioni of two, the Scorpis and Periphanus, the Onia Kalia Sapton. Tinti mi o teron ton cherubim, ken doxo teron as in gritos ton serafim. Tina di athoros, de on logon te cusan, tinon tos de oto con se megalinomen. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos you do we magnify. Unto love to Israel, pedos of two, minis de neleus, cathos ilalis e prochus patera simon, to avram, cathos fermati of two eos eonos. Tindi mi o teron ton cherubin, ken doxo teron as in gritos ton serafim. Tina di athoros, de un logon te cusan, tina un tos de otro con se megalinomen. All you born on earth, with festival lamps in hand, in spirit leap for joy. And all you the heavenly angelic orders join in and celebrate and honor in the sacred feast of the Mother of God. Sing the joyful salutation or rejoice. The Otokos are blessed ever, virgin pure. Oh. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, your most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin most Mary, holy, along with all the saints. Let us Lady. commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you. 
and offer up glory to you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. When Mary Magdalene had said that the Lord had been taken to the tomb, Simon Peter ran, as did the other mystic of Christ who was the beloved. Both of them ran together and found the linen cloths inside by themselves lying and also not with ease was the napkin from his head lying rolled up and therefore they went back in peace until they saw the lord christ your life was shown to be a rule and standard for monastics and the precise recovery of those grievously fallen no venerable Pelagia for escaping the dark night of passions you proceeded to Christ the true Son of glory, O stately one. And you shone forth brightly among ascetics, your splendid memory with theirs we celebrate together. We were redeemed by your divine childbirth, O pure one, therefore, joyfully and with gratitude, like the divine archangel, we cry aloud and salute you, saying, Rejoice, O Mary. Adam's redemption, oh, rejoice, rejoice the liberation of Eve, rejoice. Deified through you is our human nature. Rejoice through whom we have obtained heavenly rule and kingdom. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all you His hosts. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. 
Praise him, O sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars and light. Praise him, ye heaven of heavens, and you order that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he spoke, and they came to be. He commanded, and they were created. He established them forever, yea, forever and ever. He has set an ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons, and all ye abysses. Fire, hail, snow, ice, blast of tempest, which perform his word. The mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. The beast and all the cattle, creeping things and winged birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth. Young men and virgins, elders with the younger. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for exalted is the name of him alone. His praise is above the earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. This is the hymn for all his saints, for the sons of Israel, and for the people that draw nigh unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise is in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance with the timbrel and psaltery. Let them chant unto him. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory, and they shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their throat, and two its swords shall be in their hands. To do vengeance among the heathen, punishments among the peoples. <coughs> to bind their kings with fetters, and their nobles with manacles of iron. To do among them the judgment that is written, this glory shall be to all his saints. We praise thy saving passion, O Christ, and we glorify thy resurrection. Praise ye God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. You who did endure the cross and did abolish death and did arise from the dead. Make our life peaceful, O Lord, since you alone are omnipotent. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. You who did despoil Hades and did raise up men by thy resurrection, O Christ, deem us worthy to him and glorify thee with purity of heart. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp, glorifying thy God befitting condescension. We praise thee, O Christ, for you was born of a virgin, and yet you was inseparable from the Father. You did suffer as man, and didst endure the cross willingly. You did rise from the grave, as though coming forth from a bridal chamber, that thou mightest save the world, O Lord, glory be to you. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flutes. When you were nailed to the wood of the cross, then was the dominion of the enemy put to death. Creation was shaken with fear of thee, and Hades was despoiled by thy might. You did raise the dead out of the graves, and you did open paradise unto the thief. O Christ our God, glory be to you. Praise him with tuneful symbols, praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord.
The honorable women came with haste unto thy tomb with the lamentation. But finding the sepulchre open and learning from the angel of the new and strange miracle, they announced to the apostles that the Lord is risen, granting unto the world great mercy. Arise, O Lord, my God, let thy hand be lifted high. Forget not thy purpose to the end. We worship the divine wounding of thy passion, O Christ God, and like King the priestly service which was accomplished in Zion. In the end of the ages, in a manner that made God manifest, for you the Son of Righteousness did enlighten those that slept in darkness, leading them by thy hand unto the unwaiting radiance. O Lord, glory be to you. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all thy wonders. O ye tumult loving race of the Jews, hearken. Where are they that came unto Pilate? Let the soldiers that kept God speak. Where are the seals of the tombs? Whither was the buried one removed? Where was he sold who is beyond price? How was the treasure plundered? Why do ye defame the arising of the crucified one, O ye lawless Jews? Risen is he that is free among the dead, and he doth rent unto the world great mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Behold, it is early and still.
both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for through him who from you became incarnate has Hades been taken prisoner and Adam has been summoned back. The curse has been neutralized, and Eve has been liberated. Death has been put to death, and we have been brought to life. Therefore, extolling, we cry out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. Glory to you. Amen. Glory be to you who showed the light. Glory in the highest to God and on earth peace, good will among men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King, Heavenly God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever, and unto the ages of ages. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, even as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, to you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy unto those who know you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy, immortal.
Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy. Today is salvation come unto the world. Let us sing unto the author of life who arose from the tomb. For destroying death by death, he granted us the victory and great mercy. Evlai meni vasilia, tu patros, ke tu iuk tu iu pneumatos, nin ke ai, ke tu se onas ton e onun. In peace, let us pray unto the Lord. For our peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray unto the Lord. For our peace, the whole world, the stability of God's holy churches, and the oneness of all, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have for Archbishop Irasi, most honorable priesthood, the deacons, and the service of Christ, for all the clergy and all the people, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord for our president, for these United States, for those in public service and the armed forces, let us pray unto the Lord. For the great holy church of Christ, our archdiocese, this city and parish, every city and land, and for the faith who dwell therein, let us pray unto the Lord. For favorable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray unto the Lord. Mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord for our deliverance mercy. from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord Help us, mercy. save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord. Remember, our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, along with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you, For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever. Ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Tes pres vies de se otoku, so te so sonima. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of, of the, the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, along with all the saints, let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, 
let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God, risen from Please the line dead. Up. We sing to you, Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. His hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Save us, O Son of God, risen from, from the, the dead. dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation mm -hmm. to take flesh from the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered death by death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and with the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, our blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, most along with all the saints. Theotokos, let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other. Us. Let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you. Oh, For you, O oh God, are good and you love mankind. And to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, the ages of ages. This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. When the stone was sealed by the Jews and the soldiers were guarding thine immaculate body, thou didst arise on the third day, O Savior, granting life unto the world. For which cause the powers of heaven cried out to thee, O light giver, glory to thy resurrection, O Christ, glory to thy kingdom, glory to thy dispensation, O only friend of man. Sophia. Orthi Defte proskini somen e prospesomen Christo so soni masieteu anastasek necro Salon dosi, Alleluia. Tu litus 
che strati o tum vila son tum tua su soma anes di streamer o sotil loro menos to cosmo tinzo i i a to tu eri na mi i hon si zo zo ta do xatina nastasi su criste do xatin vasilia su do xatin economia su mana filantrope in you, O oh Mother, is preserved, undistorted what was made in the image of God. For taking up the cross, you followed Christ and taught by your example that we should overlook the flesh since it passes away and instead look after the soul since it is immortal. And therefore, O oh devout Pelagia, your spirit rejoices with the angels. The offspring of Athos and great adornment of monks, defender of Ascesis, haven of silence and prayer, our Father, you were revealed to be. Through your life you showed us grace's ways of salvation, saving through your entreaties those who faithfully pray to you and therefore intercede with the Lord, O righteous Father Joseph. Like a spiritual day star in heaven's firmament, you did encompass the whole world and did enlighten men's souls. Hence your name is glorified throughout the east and west. For you did shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved Shepherd. Wherefore cease not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our souls. Protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame. Unfailing mediation with the Maker. Do not despise the voices of us sinners as we pray. But in your love be quick to help us who pray to you with faith. Hasten to intercede makes me to entreat. O Mother of God, for you ever protect those who honor you. To carry the Thoman, for you are God, our holy, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. I I
be attentive. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we hope in you. Rejoice greatly in the Lord, O righteous ones. Praise is fitting for the upright. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Wisdom, let us all be attentive. <clears throat> Brethren, the point is this. He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do as he has made up his mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that you may always have enough of everything and may provide in abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your resources and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for great generosity, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. Peace be upon the reader. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The God who vindicates me and who subdued the peoples under me. Alleluia. the salvation of his king and shows mercy to his anointed. Alleluia. 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 Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be upon you all. And with your spirit. The reading is according to the gospel of St. Luke. Let us be 
attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to At you. At that time, Jesus went to a city named Naim, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, behold, a man, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and he said to her, Do not weep. And he came and touched the bier, and the bearer stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has visited his people. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Uh, please be seated. How are we today? Glory to God. Glory to God for all things. You know, sometimes people see me and they they say, "Oh, it's Father Earl." Glory to God. Uh, maybe that's that's good to start us. To, but the reason you're saying glory to God not because it's me. You should be saying glory to God to everyone because God is ever present and always with you. And the reason we say glory to God is not because it's just some rote thing that we do, but our mindset needs to be that everything we do is to please Him, to glorify Him, to love Him, to honor Him. And so instead of focusing on ourselves, like, how are you, Mary? You know, and then she could go through a whole bunch of stuff about how she's good, she's bad. Or she should, could just say glory to God because we believe glory to God for all things. The stuff she's feeling that's good, glory to God. The stuff she's feeling that she doesn't like, glory to God. So I, I'm encouraging. I'm glad that you're saying it. I want you to say it for the right reasons. Because truly, it's a tradition of the Christian church. Um, so today I want to talk about 2 Corinthians. And so in 2 Corinthians, um, he's talking to, to all of us. So it starts by saying brethren. And when you read the Bible, and it says whatever translation you have, brethren, brothers and sisters, know that he's talking directly to you. So he is here, um, St. Paul is saying, the point is this. He who, lo he who sows, who throws out seed sparingly, also reaps sparingly. He who sows bountifully, also reaps bountifully. So what does that even mean? So you and I spend our days every day, every day, you are, spare, you are sowing seeds. This is not something you just like, oh, I'm going to sow some seeds now. This is you are sowing seeds every day, right here now. When you talk to people at coffee hour, when you fellowship each other on your driving home and the guy cuts you off on the road, you're going to be sowing seeds. So you have a choice of what seeds you're going to sow. You want to sow. Of course, this is talking about that God is watching all of that. And it's really kind of both ways. So remember, some of the parables tell us that um, there's tares in with the wheat. You don't want that. It's like a bunch of terrible weeds in with the good seeds. So we're told here that he who sp um, sparingly um, sows will reap sparingly. So let's say that I decide to sow a whole bunch of tares or weeds or bad stuff. Is God going to multiply that? Potentially. He, potentially. You want to sow. Remember, I've told you many times, um, and Father, as you know, and as the, the fathers of the church say, if I 
curse someone and they should not have been cursed, then does the curse rest on that man I'm aiming at? No. So where does it go? It goes back on me. If I'm the one that's cursing, it goes back on me. So let's say I gave a blessing on someone, and they don't really deserve a blessing for what's going on in their actions and their hearts. Does that blessing stay on them? No. I mean, God could allow it to stay, but we're talking theoretically, no, it's not going to stay there. So if that blessing isn't deserved for that man, where will the blessing go? Back to us. So always, always err on the side of blessing everyone. Everyone. Whether society thinks they deserve it or you think they deserve it, bless them. If the blessing is unplaced, is, un, is inappropriate, then the angels, God himself, will make sure it goes back to where it does belong. You know, there's many traditions, um, and I've heard Father speak about this a long time ago. There's many traditions that talk, when you're taking communion, that people, you know, and, and of course there's grace in the communion. If you come up and... There, I've heard uh, people say that they had eyes to see, and they saw that as the spoon was going toward the mouth, there might be an angel that took away the grace because that person wasn't willing, ready to receive it. They shouldn't have had it. This is the same idea. We have a God that loves us. What happens if we receive communion in a bad way, inappropriately? What is, in fact, it's 2 Corinthians says that we could, be, we could be dead, we could be sleeping, we could be hurt, we could be sick if we receive communion unworthily. So is it a loving God that makes sure that that grace doesn't go in your mouth if you should not receive it? Yes, it's a loving God. All right, so now the, we're talking about blessing. And if I bless, and I bless abundantly, then I'm going to reap abundantly, okay? So we're not just talking physical things, but spiritual things. What's the next thing? Each one, so each one of us, must do, this is the English translation, must do what he has made up his mind, not reluctantly, not under compunction, for God loves a cheerful giver. Now, I don't like that translation that much, Ekastos kathos prerite cardia mitis lipis e ex anangis. All right, so instead of mind, that he has made up his mind, it says it has the word cardia. For those of you that speak Greek, you know cardia is clearly heart. It's not mind. But the English translation is mind. I can understand, in a way, how they got that translation, because our job is to have noose and to combine our mind and our heart. But, let's, but if we're looking at the Greek one, it doesn't say that he has made up his mind. It says that he has purposed his heart. So in his heart, there's, I guess you could say a decision, but that your heart is intent on doing something. Okay, so that you... Um, I don't like this word, but this is the only one that comes to mind right now. You envisioned something that you want to sow, and you'd like to see good things come from it. You've envisioned that in your heart. So each one of us, so if we want to reap and then sow abundantly, we have to have in our heart, so that means some sort of intent, we have to have in our heart what we want done with this good seed so that it's not done reluctantly, it's not done being forced, it's done with purpose and because God loves a cheerful giver. Then it, this, this reading ends, you will be enriched in every way for great generosity, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. Okay, so... This, this kind of struck me as I was reading and preparing.
Mary, it says that God provides abundantly. So now we're talking to us. We're talking to the church militant, the people that are struggling to be saints. Is it guaranteed that we're going to spend eternity with Christ? No. But are we struggling and hoping and praying and trying and fasting to spend eternity with Christ? Okay. So we have abundantly Christ, God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They will give to us abundantly if we purpose to serve his people and glorify him in our hearts. So that's abundantly. Now, stay with me because it sounds like I'm kind of going off. But what does the world think about abundance and scarcity? When the world talks in terms of resources, they see the world as limited and incapable of giving any more and so now we have to think in this way of scarcity, right? I don't know. Does anybody disagree with me on that? When the world looks at pretty much anything, so society, the world looks at anything, they see scarcity, all right? As Christians, we should see abundance. Um, who owns all the money in the world? God. God. Who owns all the, the coal and the diamonds in the world? God. Okay, God owns everything. All right, so you as a Christian, when you don't, let's see, when you don't have enough money to pay rent. So now some people would say, oh, scarcity. When you don't have enough money to pay rent, what would be the best thing to do? Pray. This is not some like, you know, just pray. What's wrong with you? Just pray. No, that's not that. Why do we pray? Because we believe, and this is what you need to do, purpose in your heart, you need to believe that God can do anything. All right? There were 5,000 men and probably 5,000 women um, at the, uh, being fed, and they had a few loaves, a few fish, and they, they fed maybe 10,000 people. That doesn't make any sense. That's not a story of scarcity. That's a story of abundance. God can do anything. Now, let's say that you don't have enough money to pay rent, and you got on your knees, and you, prayfully, you prayerfully prayed, and the rent day came. You got your eviction notice. What are you supposed to do or think? What, how should you pray? And I, I really want someone to help me. The society is going to think you're a nut. You're supposed to thank God because you know that everything that he wills or allows is for your benefit. And in orthodoxy, there's many stories of how things happened that people didn't like and it turned out to be for some amazing reason. So you, your rent wasn't paid. You were evicted. Now you had to move to another city because you had a relative that was there. You moved to another city. And all of a sudden, you got a job that you never thought you might get. Maybe you met the person that you were going to spend your life with. I don't know. But what I do know is that God is in charge. If you purpose with your heart then he will provide abundantly. And if you assume that he's always taking care of you, even though you don't get what you want, I want rent. Well, even if you don't get what you want, you have to assume that he is doing this for a purpose and a reason. And I, I believe that this makes sense to everybody. And so what I really am hoping is that this is just a reminder. So we're not asking God why, we're not complaining. We're not screaming. We're not yelling at our wife because we didn't like something that happened at work. We didn't, we're not yelling at our children because something happened. We didn't like. We're remembering that whatever we purpose in our heart, God will bless. Maybe not in the way we think. And that we submit to him. 
So um, that's maybe a little bit longer than normal. If you, if you can remember anything that we talked about, I want you to remember that God is a God of abundance, not scarcity. The litmus test of who you are is not how much stuff you have. The litmus test about who you are, I think, is how you glorify God and how you live your life. And you live it in peace and love, no matter what happens. As St. Paul says, you're content in all things. Um, would you please rise? And let's say a little prayer before we go back into the liturgy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord God, I thank you for these beautiful people that you allowed to be here today. And I, I thank you for your mercy in letting me be here um, as the priest, that together, as the royal priesthood, as laity and sacramental priest, we may glorify you, that we may come together and consecrate the body and blood of Christ, and that body and blood of Christ may bring your grace, your love, and your life to every person that takes it this day, and that the angel that you have sent will help us. And if, Lord, there's anything that someone needs to ask someone else for forgiveness, you'd give them the strength to do it today, even right now, for your holy now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say, Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Have mercy us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Irasimos. Again, we pray for, for our brethren, brethren, the priests, the higher monks, the deacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, remission of the sins of the servants of God, for all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting the city, parishioners, members of the parish council, stewards, benefactors of this holy church. Again, we pray for the blessed, ever memorable founders of this holy church. For all our fathers and brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep before us, who have piously been laid to rest as well as Orthodox everywhere, may their memory be eternal. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit to good works this holy and venerable church, those who labor, those who sing, and all here present, wait your great, rich, and abundant mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumen, pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumen, Lord, that the Lord have mercy on them, Lord, have mercy. that he will teach them the word of truth, Lord, have mercy. that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, Lord, have mercy. that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Save them, immerse them, help them, and protect them, O God. By your grace, catechumen, bow your head unto the Lord. To you, Lord our God, who dwells on high and watches over the humble. For your only God, Son, our God, and our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of the human race. Look down upon your servants, the catechumens, who have bowed their heads to you. Grant them at a proper time baptism of rebirth, remission of sins, garment of incorruption. Unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them among your chosen flock. So that they with us may glorify your most honored, majestic name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us, the faithful, pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Sophia. Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again, again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Sophia, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That ever guarded by your might, we may give you the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, 
now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. Master of all, the our high priest, the rest of the sacred service of the church, and side Christ without shedding of blood. Indeed, Lord our God, you alone reign with celestial and terrestrial, born aloft of the children of the throne, Lord and Seraphim, King of Israel, the only holy rest among the holy one. I now beseech you, O Lord, good and look find you, look down on me, your sin, your unprofitable servant. Cleanse my soul and my heart of the wicked consciousness, namely by the power of the Holy Spirit, clothe the grace of grace of the sand before your holy table, and celebrate the mystery of your whole body, your holy and pure body, and your precious blood. I come before you with my head bowed, and I implore you, turn not your face away from me, to reject me from your children, to make me your sinful, your unworthy servant, worthy of you gifts. For you are the one who both offers off, the one who has received me, for you, O Christ our God, to you we give the glory. Um, Remember us all in his kingdom, always, now, and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. That we may receive the King of all.
let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord For the precious mercy. gifts you presented, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord For this mercy. holy house and those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your Lord, grace. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord for an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord for pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord for that which is good and beneficial for our souls. And for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and in repentance. Let us ask of the Lord and let us ask for a Christian ending to our life, peaceful, without shame, without suffering, for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Along with all the saints, let us commit ourselves. Let us commit each other. Let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, life giving Spirit, now and forever, the ages of ages, that any posse peace be upon you all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and inseparable. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of, of all things, things visible and, and invisible. invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in awe. And let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us all lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right. Lord have mercy. 
singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. si prosperomen, kata panda, kadia panda, your own of your own we offer to you. And all and for all. Once again, we offer the spiritual worship without shame and blood. We beseech you, pray, treat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon these gifts you presented. Make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your all Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 <laughs> we hear you. We bless you. We give thanks unto you, O Lord, and we pray unto you, O our God. Exaretos hispanias, sacrando per blame many slugs, this means one day otoku, parteno marias. It is truly right to call you blessed, O Theotokos, the ever-blessed. You are most pure and all immaculate, and the mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption did give birth to God the the very Theotokos, you do we magnify. Among the first, Lord, remember Archbishop Erasimus. Grant him, the early churches, in peace, safety, honor, health, and the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember, Lord, those whom each one of us here present calls to mind. And all your people. And all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable, majestic name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy, celestial, mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord Help us, mercy. save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Us, Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and our bodies. 
Let us ask of the Lord for pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord for that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world. Let us ask of the Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord and let us ask for a Christian ending to our life peaceful without shame and suffering for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, this, oh Lord, having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you, oh, 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 oh. And grant us mass with boldness, without condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy you kingdom need to be come, a little faster, thy right? will be done <laughs> on earth as it is Thank in you. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive Thank us you. our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the For evil. For yours the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Peri posse, peace be upon you all. And with your spirit, Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, oh, oh, Lord. Through the grace, compassion, love for mankind, your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, always, now, and forever, unto the ages of ages Amen. the holy gifts for the holy people of God one is holy one is Lord Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, Receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. 
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let the meek hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him and be enlightened and your faces shall not be ashamed. <clears throat> this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him and will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all you as saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that the desires life, who loves to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are opened unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and he heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. <clears throat> the death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that hope in him. <clears throat> Praise the Lord from the receive communion, you'll come down the middle, and you'll leave on both sides, and you can get your andidero. And please wait for the ushers uh, to release you. And the fear of God in faith and in love draw ye near. Praise the, the servant of God. Christ. Christ. Of sins and the of the of the sins of the of the of the of the of Make sure it's always a little table for the kids. The servant of God, Nicarios, receives the blood of Christ for the rest of our sins and for life everlasting. Wipe your lips, Nicarios. No, no, wipe your lips with a napkin. Good boy. Good boy. Praise the, the servant Lord of God. From the heaven. Soma, Emma, sister. Praise him so in the highest. Alleluia. Soma, praise him all his angels. Praise him all his powers. Alleluia. Praise him, Son and Moon. Praise him, all you stars the servant of God, Thaddeus, Soma, Emma, Christu, Isat, Smart, and Zane. Let's go this way, Robin. Praise him, you highest heavens, and you waters that are above the heavens. Soma, Emma, Christu, Isat, Smart, and Zane. The servant of God, Christina, Soma. 
Yeah, my instruments, that's my music. Good girl. The name of the Lord. For he spoke and they came into being. He called and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He made an ordinance and the reach to sins and for life of blessing. I mean, all the of God, Mary, Soma. and Kings of the earth and so all I, people, Jesus, rulers and, 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 and all judges yeah. of the earth. I don't see all I don't see anything. The servant of God. Young men and maidens, so, old men and youths together. The servant of God. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone the servant of God. has been Aki, Soma. Emma, Christu, is out smart to the and I mean, and what I need only to do, Seraphim, Soma, Emma, His praise is above earth and heaven, and He will exalt all the Lord. And we should see His and mean, and what I need only to do, Mary, Soma, Emma, Christu, is out smart to the and I mean, the spirit of God, the days of his holy ones, for the richest sins, life of us, the children of God, Christiana, Soma, Emma, Christu, his house, Martin, Zinion, I mean, that Lavani, the little Theo, Alexandria, Soma, Emma, Christu, his house, Martin, Zinion, I mean, the servant of God, Helen, receives the blood of Christ, for the richest sins, and for life of us, I mean, that Lavani, the little Theo, Paisi, Soma, Emma, Christu, his house, Good boy, and the wipe his lips here. Little one, he do like to tell Zoe, the reader, Soma, Emma, Christu, he sounds smart to Zinni, I mean, the servant of God, right to the language. Soma, Emma, Christu, good girl. The servant of God, Aiden, Soma, Emma, Christu, he sounds smart to Zinni, I mean, the servant of God. Praise him in the heart. The of God, Amos, receives the Bible of Christ. Hallelujah. For the range of sins and for life everlasting. I mean, I mean, I mean. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his power. The servant of God, Yohannes, Soma, Emma, Christian. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars and The servant of God. The sail, Soma, Emma, Christmas, that's a good boy. Praise him, you highest heaven. And you are the Lord Emma, Christus, he sounds much in the I mean, I mean, I mean. Yosef, Soma. Let them Emma, praise the name of the Lord, the for he spoke Soma. and Emma, they Christu, came into being. He commanded and they were created. He of God. established them Soma. forever Good and ever. He made an ordinance 
Bridget, she's and smiling little crying. She's like, I wipe her lips. You're a good girl. Alleluia. The servant of God, Constantine. Praise the Lord. Emma, who's doing? He's not smart to continue. I'm going to 